show, hold up. You know, with the show, I always try to stay away from big political news because you already see so much of that, and we want to be the escape. You feel me? Yeah. But, but... The news this week was just too big to ignore. I know it goes against everything I said, and I'm sorry, but it would be an impeachable offense for me to ignore this. <laughs> BTS was on the cover of Paper Magazine, y'all. Yes! Look at that! That's what's interesting. The author of the BTS article said it took her months to research the group. And I'm just like, months? <laughs> I've been on Twitter for more than 30 seconds without learning everything about BTS. Okay. <laughs> and you know what's super cool? The issue comes with little stickers of unicorns and cheetahs, but I think we can all agree that it's going to be a giant hit with cougars. <laughs> Personally, I love BTS, but the thing that makes me really excited is that Lisa Frank is part of it. Yeah. <laughs> Not many people know this, but she's a real woman, and she's 64 years old. <laughs> which makes this one of the only times a woman over 50 has been allowed on the cover of a magazine. <laughs> but of course, this wasn't the only huge news story this week. An event that has all of America talking. The new Cats trailer was released, y'all. <laughs> Take a look. And a drum roll, please. Make the choice. <laughs> uh, one thing is for sure. I know this is going to be the number one movie at the box office on Christmas Day because anyone who will like this movie doesn't have a family. <laughs> <No. laughs> this trip. <laughs> This trailer is perfect for people who liked the old Cats trailer, but wanted more opportunities to unpack how they feel about cats with boobs. <laughs> also, I think it's weird that they don't have areolas. Am I the only one? Like, I thought cats loved catnip. <laughs> I'm excited for two things in this movie. Number one, it looks like James Corden is playing the cat version of the penguin. <laughs> and two, Jason Derulo plays a Burmese cat, which means you're definitely gonna hear him sing, Burmese Derulo! <laughs> so excited. But this makes me feel bad for cats. Like, it seems unfair that dogs get movies like Air Bud or Homeward Bound, and cats get this. <laughs> no wonder cats are such dicks. I mean... <laughs> OK, OK. I know it feels like I'm skirting around the actual biggest topic of the week, the thing that had Twitter going nuts. But here we go. The president of Chick-fil-A <laughs> announced they're no longer going to donate to anti-LGBTQ plus organizations. <laughs> yes! Yes! And when asked to comment, the CEO said, there's no place for that in business. That's what we do in church on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is great news for customers. Now when they eat at Chick-fil-A, the only reason they have to feel bad is because of the meal they ate at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> and I will say, it's very exciting that Chick-fil-A made this decision. But I think maybe they swung too far in the other direction because they also just announced they were changing their name to Chick-fil-A! <laughs> now, some people think that this change in philosophy is due to the emergence of the Popeye's chicken sandwich, which has quickly become America's favorite. So, I mean, I gotta give it up to Popeyes because they made a sandwich so good it made Chick-fil-A lose its religion, y'all. <laughs> Dang! Dang! Thank you! Okay, finally, jokes aside. Finally, I'm gonna get to the story of the week. The one you've all been waiting for. And this one really trumps all the other stories. Mm -hmm. <laughs> South Dakota announced a new anti-meth campaign. <laughs> and get this, it's meth. We're on it. <laughs> Thank you.
One article I read said that they paid an agency $449,000 to develop a campaign, which it then went and immediately spent on meth. <laughs> The craziest part of this story is that when Florida saw the flag, they immediately said, hey, do you mind if we borrow this for our state flag? <laughs>